will be on Seattle tonight. Another very lucky driver was back, too, as Lou Gellos reports. When Seattleites heard the radio accounts of this fire aboard the Squire Shop Sunday, what may have popped into their minds were pictures of the fire at the Indianapolis 500. Invisible flames searing the faces of driver Rick Mears and his crew. When Chip Anauer was carried from the pits, many feared the worst. But Chip is fine and back Another in Seattle. Is, is we run gasoline and not alcohol. And on television the other night, you could see the, the bright orange flames. Well, in a race car, you can't see the flames. And um, maybe no one would have come to me right away like they did with the orange flames. But when we have a fire with gasoline, it's very visible to everybody. So uh, I didn't sit there for very long. Well, you can... The next move is repairing the Squire a job which will not keep the crew from Pasco. Lou Gellis, King 5 Sports. Dean Chenoweth's unbeaten heat victory record ended last weekend, as you know, at Evansville, but Miss Budweiser still has a commanding lead in the national point standings for the unlimited hydroplane racing. The Seattle-based Hydro has 975-point lead over Miss Madison. Bill Muncy's win on Sunday moved him into the third place, followed by the U8 and then the pay and pack. The Squire Shop is in seventh place. And, of course, the Unlimiteds are just one stop away from the Seafair Gold Cup race on August 9th. But for the Miss Bud driver, Dean Chenoweth, the season, well, it's had a new meaning now because he lost a race. Ron Callen has more on the story on Dean and the Bud. Dean Chenoweth may have had a troublesome weekend on the Ohio River. But overall, the 1981 campaign has been his strongest ever. Of course, Seafair fans will remember last year's race. Near disaster for Chenoweth and Miss Bud. The crash, plus the fact that the Gold Cup is at stake, gives Chenoweth plenty of incentive for the August 9 race on Lake Washington. I would say this year my uh, height of intensity is going to be very high. We're really going to come to Seattle to win, and I think uh, it'll probably be the highlight of my career if we could be fortunate enough to win here. I know that I'm really going to come here with uh, enthusiasm like I've never had before, because like the paper said last year, it's Lake Washington, too, and us nothing. So uh, we've kind of got a personal... Uh, goal here to uh, attack. Chenoweth calls the engine failure in Evansville just one of those things and plans to be ready for the Columbia Cup in Pasco July 26. Ron Callen, Channel 7 Eyewitness Sports. Well, the Budweiser wasn't the only casualty during the Ohio race. Chip Hanauer of the Squire Shop, you had some major problems. First of all, physically, are you okay? Physically, I'm fine. A little bit of a sunburn, and that's about it. All right, no problems from that fire in your boat? None at all. We had a, a little intense explosion that knocked me forward, but that's about all. All right, let's take a look at some of that activity, and you can maybe describe a little bit of it. Sure. Uh, the boat caught on fire. What happened? What was the first thing that you knew? Uh, the first thing I knew was that there was a big explosion that knocked me forward over the cockpit, and uh, I couldn't had a rough time getting out of the boat because the parachute cord was tough to unhook, and it was right in the middle of the fire. Then I leaped from the boat, and the crew got right to it and put the fire out. All right, we didn't see much of the boat fire there. We may be able to Recue that tape here in a few seconds. We have the magic of television to do that. Um, when you get out of a boat like that and you go into the water, good crews there to get you out and get you on that stretcher quickly? We're real fortunate because I was just coming into the dock and I would say I was 20 yards from the dock, so they were right there and they had to fire out, and I'd say three minutes. All right. What about the boat? What kind of conditions are it in? The boat, the damage was cosmetic. The deck is gone. My cowling is gone around the cockpit, but uh, other than that, there's very little damage to the boat. Oh, really? All right. Now, can they, is there any problem getting it ready for Pasco? Uh, there's going to be a lot of late nights, but uh, they'll get it ready. That's not an alternative, not being ready for Pasco. All right. So you expect to be back in it. When you climb back in the cockpit after an incident like that, and it's happened to you before, aren't you a little jittery? Not a bit. If you're going to be a race driver and you're going to do it professionally, you're going to have your lumps and bumps, much like a football player, a basketball player, or anything else. So you just pick up and keep going. All right, take care of yourself, will you? Thank you, Wayne. Squire Shops driver, Chip Hanauer, and going to hop right back in it at Pasco and then, of course, be here August 9th for the big race in Lake Washington. And the magic of television. We never saw that again. Didn't we see it again? Well, what did I tell you? <laughs>